What is good, my fellow Batter Brawlers? We're back at again with the final one from the Wave 8 Starter Packs, finally. Um, I do have one more, actually, to open, which will be the Diamond Dragonoid Starter Pack from this Wave set. That will be up on my channel next week as part of my Diamond Week. Yes, I'll be opening up uh, Diamond Bakugan at least one, two, three. Three, at least five Diamond Bakugan or Diamond Pet Product Bakugan uh, next week. So uh, hit that subscribe bell, subscribe, right? subscribe, and turn that bell notification so you know when those video goes up. As the following Diamond products uh, I will open are the Diamond Dragonoid uh, starter pack from uh, this wave's wave eight, uh, the Diamond Pegatrix uh, starter pack from the F uh, Armored Alliance wave one. Uh, the Diamond Gillator from Wave 2. Uh, the Diamond Scorpros from the uh, last line of Core Bakugan from Battle Planet. And the Armored Alliance Diamond Trucks. Uh, currently, those are only the Diamond Bakugan I have in my possession that I will be opening up next week. If I can find that Deca uh, uh, Drago Treacherous, I will open that up, but who knows. Uh, I have yet to check my Walmart. I will in the next day or so. So who knows? I may open it up. I may not. Uh, but yeah. Now, focusing on this guy, Ventus Trino. Um, seems like he comes with Auralis Cubbo and uh, maybe Aqua's Vice Rocks, it looks like. Um, and his international version, so we'll be coming with three copies each of the character cards and ability cards. Um, yeah, let's go ahead, rip into it. So much easier to open up than the new, than the new ones, like, oh my god. The whole stack of cards there. Um, yeah, let's get let's get Trino out first. He does have one restraint across in there, so we're just going ahead and snip that, and push him out, and put him to the side there. Put him back in there. Uh, let's get out the back of cores. Now the core back of guy. So why is first one there? And then come out. Oh, there we go. Cabo spinning out of control. Thinks he's a Beyblade, but he is a back of guy. Alrighty. Alright, first things first, let's just take a look at the uh, bag of cores that he comes with. Uh, plus 500 magic shield, uh, plus 300 shield, plus five on the damage. Ooh, uh, good helix core, plus 300, but minus three. Uh, plus 50, minus, plus two, uh, green fist, and then plus 300 B power shield. Uh, really the best uh, bag of cores, this one is pretty good for helix. Other than that, everything else is just mediocre at best. Um, all right. Now let's go ahead, get into the packaging here. Ah. Oh my goodness. All righty. Stack of cards. Uh, and then try those instruction sheet. Put that to the side. We'll take a look at it in a minute. First things first. Take a look at the cards that it comes with. Alrighty. Uh, here we have Ventus Trino Ultra's character card. Uh, Magic Shield and Green Fist. Base 300 B power, base 1 damage. When you play a Ventus card, plus 2 B power. Plus 2 B power? So let me know if that's a typo and that's supposed to be damage. Because when you play a Ventus card, it gets 302 B power. That doesn't seem right in my opinion. Oh yeah, here's the, here it is. Yeah, okay, that's the difference. Yeah, it is supposed to be damage. Yeah, plus two damage. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Something wrong with the English version there. Uh, do, do, do. Orlis Cabo. Um, so, shield and helix cores. Base 200 B power, base 7 damage. Okay. You may re-roll this once you turn if you miss a roll with it. Okay. All right. Uh, what do we have going on? Here, something Cubo Cubo Gaze. 
Oh, it's using the Care Bear Stair. That's what it is. It's not a couple of gays. It's the Care Bear Stair. <laughs> um, uh, flip, uh, stop, Orlis. Uh, if you do, you may play a hero card that costs six energy or less for free. But what, 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 when you do if you're getting attacked? And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a weird Care Bear Stair, but alrighty. All right. Uh, Vice Rocks here. Uh, Aquas Vice Rocks. Uh, Shield and Flaming Fist. Uh, base 200 B power, base 7 damage. Okay. Uh, and then what's this thing? Tusk Guard. Okay, it is Maxodon. Uh, Trying doesn't have tusks or horns, so I don't know. Uh, for 6 energy, minus 800 B power. If you played a card that costs 5 energy or more this turn, you may play this for free. Um, okay. It, this, this is a, that's a, this is a debatable card whether to play or not. I don't really recommend that in my opinion. Uh, Raging Seas for 4 energy cost, play f plus 5 damage, Orlis power if you have an Orlis back on, on your team. This costs 2 energy less to play. Okay, this isn't too, this is actually not too bad because in this one, because it does come with an Orlis back on, so that's not bad. So for two energy plus five damage, okay, and that's that's that. All right, well that's not too bad. Uh, really. Recap. Take Vice Rocks there. The Care Bear Stair. I call this Care because it just look you just Cabo Gaze. No, it's the Care Bear Stair, y'all. Uh, <laughs> in my opinion, any uh, ways. All right, put the cards off to the side now there. All right. All right, so let's take a better look here at these Bakugan Vice Rocks. There. Vice Rocks there. And then... Kabo. Let me just... Boom. Kabo. Leave him up there. Leave him on the core for now, just because of how he stands. Eh, Vice Rocks leans a bit too, and there we go. Alright. Uh, Vice Rocks. Not really much. Just Aquas Vice Rocks. Looks pretty nice. Uh, B Power is there. Mine's a little bit. Paint job is a little bit off there. Uh, then Cubbo. Or less Cubbo. I kind of like this one, just because of this, this silver head. Got a silver backpack there. It's a great backpack. B power right there. I like how they had his arms do are a little bit manual, so that's that's a bit nice there. I like to I don't know why, I just really liked his Orlis cubble for whatever reason. I don't know. Alright. And Trino. Main guy, Ventus Trino. Pretty cool. Green Triceratops. Nice. Ah, uh, you know what? We don't we don't have an uh, Aquas Trino, do we? Sorry, I'm just looking at the uh, the checklist. I don't think we do. Ah, uh, that's such a missed opportunity, Aquas Trino. I'm sorry. I'm a bit as you can tell. I'm a little bit of Power Rangers fan. But we don't have a blue Triceratops Bakugan. What's up with that? <laughs> you know, missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. They should have had an Aquas Trino. Oh, I'm really sad now. Anywho, uh, aside from me being a little bit sad on that, um, his B power is on his foot right there. As you can see, uh, horns are manual. Are a bit manual. So, <laughs> funky positions there. Um... Yeah, so let's go ahead and get to closing now. Vice Rocks, just have all of his, you know, have all of his legs come in and there's that. Aquas Cabo, one of the simpler guys, have his arms, make sure his arms are in. Ears go up and then push him in. There we go. Yeah, put those to the side for now. 
and uh, we'll get to rolling those guys out later. All right, so now let's look on how to close Ventus Trino here. Uh, so horns are down, uh, his tail goes up and then uh, front legs, his head goes down and then up. I'm confused. Do I already have a Trino? Yeah, I have Pyrus Trino, but it's been a minute uh, since I closed him. So bear with me here. Horns, horns are down. Tail is in that legs legs go up head in there we go that's not too bad it's not too bad really okay now let's go ahead and roll him out just to see how he works. Yeah, okay. So the way arrow is pointing first. And roll. And miss. And roll. There you go. There it pops up. That would have been nice. I really got to fix all that next year. Um, okay, so tail. Tail. Out uh, and staying out of focus. Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? Whatever. Be that way. So tail there. His front feet, arms, and head goes in. Okay. Uh, do 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 diddly do. Okay. Uh, backwards. How uh, we are not supposed to be doing it. Back of gun roll. Come on, we can do this, Trino. Okay, I, he will. Okay, he will still pop up. I think just because he it is, he lands, he pops up, right? So I don't really think it matters on how you roll, Trino. Uh, I don't really do it sideways because it is bumpy a bit, a bit bumpy. Um. Oh yeah, for the core back who gone, it doesn't really matter how you roll him out. Um. Like for vice rocks. I'm sorry, I should have paid more close attention to what I was actually doing. Um, all right, so for vice rocks, you know, it doesn't matter because uh, it is all pretty much circular and everything. It's all pretty smooth, no bumps or anything. Um, so doing that's no problem. Uh, for Cabo, is a little bit different. Um, I know it does have the arrow, you know, pointing to how you do it. But if you do look at him, as you can see, he is a bit bumpy in some places. Uh, so let's do it the way the arrow tells you to first here. Which, you know, he is a bit slow like that. I don't know, maybe the magnet. How good is this? Okay, magnet's not too bad on my, on this one. Um... Again, do it the, the way the arrow point tells you to do it. He will kind of drift off a bit and maybe not hit the target. I recommend with Cubbo uh, doing it along the other, other axis way. Like this way, just so you will get a good shot. Pretty much. Uh, I don't know if because he was bounced off a dragon right there. Um, but yeah. You will pretty much hit it all the time if you're good at your aiming with Cubo that way. Um, and if you can do it nice, you will get that speed up and open on that on a core first, uh, as opposed to doing it the way the arrow tells you. You know, as he won't, he only picked it up because he bounced off a of Drago there. And if we do it uh, backwards, I th that is still good, but he do he does make that you know clunky sound. As, or that bumpy sound uh, when you roll them, right? So I just recommend doing it along this way because um, he's like a tire. He will get a bit more speed up, in my opinion, that way with Cubo at least. 
that's how I do my Cubble. I run Aqua's Cubble in my deck. Um, I'm, I am going to do that switch to Hydrus. Um, although we have no tournaments at the moment, so it's like I, I'm not even opening up my deck box. Right? Anywho, if you enjoyed this video on the Ventus Trino Starter Pack, last one of the last ones from Wave 8. Uh, I do not have any of the Wave 7 ones yet, unfortunately. Uh, as Toys R Us is all sold out of those online. Uh, can't really go to stores right now because they're all closed. Uh, I haven't seen any at Winners, nor can I because they're closed again. So, yeah. Oh, uh, anywho. Uh, I do have new back on here, so we are going to go ahead and check him off our list. First off, we start with the Ultra Trino there. Great, now I just need the Orlis guy. Um, who else? Aquas Vice Rocks. He is a duplicate back on for me, so he's going to go with my dupl in the duplicate bin. Um, and then Orlis Cubo. Orlis Cubo's Cubo right there. Oh, he is a duplicate also, isn't he? That's unfortunate. So he is also going to go in the duplicate bin. So the only new guy here for me is Ventus Trino. All right. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below on these guys. Which ones do you like? Um, basically, these guys are duplicates except for Trino for me. May, it may not be the same situation for you. Um, yeah, so subscribe, turn that bell notification on so you know when my next video goes up. Until next time, brawlers, remember to stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, practice your rolls, have fun, and keep on brawling. Till next time, sayonara.